we made it to the flower fields. Good morning vlog. It is currently 8.28. But I am so freaking tired. I think I have like insomnia because I just can't sleep. I've been up all night. I woke up at six and I've just been laying in my bed trying to go back to sleep. I'm just very, very tired right now. But today's gonna be a very fun day. Me and my friend Emma are going to this beautiful flower field that we've been talking about wanting to go to for a very long time. So I need to get ready because it's like an hour away. And I curled my hair yesterday because I knew I was gonna sleep on it. So it's like not brushed out or anything because I didn't want the curls to go away. So we'll brush those out, maybe touch them up. Let's get this day started. You guys are probably gonna hate on me, but like, does anyone else's toothpaste look like this no matter what? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> guys, I just went grocery shopping yesterday. I know it probably seems like I go grocery shopping in every video, and that is because I eat a lot of produce and like fresh food. Yesterday, I bought a sweet potato, apples, I bought these strawberries, yogurt, oranges, lettuce, chicken, like things like that. But this is my favorite yogurt, Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt. A lot of people don't like this yogurt. I just think it's so yummy. It has a lot of protein in it, which is good for you. Pro and prebiotics, which are also great for you. I love, love, love this. Trader Joe's chocolate almond granola. This is my favorite granola I've ever tried. I think my favorite way to eat it is with these strawberries just because then it's like a chocolate covered strawberry, right? Like so yummy. This is what scares me in the world. The fact that this is a strawberry. Two of these is the side of my head. I have started making my videos longer because I just love to talk and I feel like I cut out a majority of the stuff that I say or I used to just because I wanted it to be like faster paced and shorter for you guys. But I don't want to do that anymore. I love just rambling and I don't know if you guys like that or not. I love it. And when I watch YouTube videos, I want them to be like mini movies. Like I want like a 25 minute video. Let me know what your feedback is about that in the comments because I love to ramble and I want them to be like an episode of your favorite TV show. Here's my delicious, <laughs> delicious, here's my delicious yogurt bowl that I'm very excited to eat. I need to pick up the pace of this process because I have to leave in like an hour, which is not ideal. I thought I had good timing. I do not have good timing. This looks so good. I crave this in the morning. Like every morning I look forward to eating my granola yogurt and strawberries. Strawberries are my favorite to put in yogurt, but I eat it with blackberries, blueberries, raspberries all the time. We meet again back in the get ready spot with this bright freaking mirror. I'm sorry guys. I thought this was going to be amazing for Filming. It is great because it gives me good lighting, but it literally makes me look like I am in Batman because the back is so freaking dark. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm gonna try to not talk too much during this get ready because I wanna do a whole video, a whole get ready with me, just chatting with you guys because I feel like it's been a little while since we've just talked. I feel like we have a lot to talk about. Like so much in my life has changed. I still get questions of people asking me like, why are you not in Hawaii? Which obviously if you don't watch my videos, you wouldn't know, but I feel like it's just time to do another little chat get ready with me so that'll be coming soon but watch my last video i talked a little bit about what was going on so first thing i just used was glow recipe dew drops i just like these because they make my skin feel really like hydrated i don't know like it just oh shoot i forgot to do all my skincare oh dang it i always forget it's like a 50 50 chance if i remember or forget do I have sunscreen in here the least thing i have to do is put on sunscreen normally i do all my skincare i have like prescription stuff to wash my face cream and all that good stuff today we're just going to be using super goop unseen sunscreen. Sometimes I use this one. Sometimes I use glow screen. A lot of the time I use La Roche Pose. They all work. They all do a good job. This one's SPF 40. Normally I go for a 40 or a 50. I'm just hoping that I actually need this sunscreen today because guys it looks like it's gonna freaking pour everywhere and if it pours it's gonna be so sad. Our last step before makeup. Milk makeup hydro grip primer. I only do this if I'm wearing like base makeup like concealer and I just do a little bit. I used to be really good at makeup and now it stresses me out. I don't have a whole lot of time so we're just gonna speed on through this bronzer elf putty bronzer i got this as you guys saw my last video and i've been trying to use it i don't feel like i'm good at using it but it's okay i got a tan y'all like you definitely can't tell right now but i definitely got a tan i've been outside a lot recently it's been doing me justice like i thrive in the summer 
I'll see you guys when this makeup is complete because I talk too freaking much and need to focus. Emma, if I'm late, I'm sorry. I've been running really late recently. My makeup is finished. I just did it how I do it every freaking time, but we're gonna see how this hair is. Like I said, I curled it last night and then immediately went to bed. So for doing that, I think it held up pretty well. It's a little knotty. I don't think you're supposed to brush out your hair like this, but I do it every time. I think the only thing I'm gonna do is recurl the front pieces just so it like frames my face a little bit better. If you guys wanna know, my hair never holds a curl. I also just never do my hair. Like literally, look, the curl's already pretty much gone. I saw this thing that if you use mousse before you curl your hair, it makes it hold a little bit better. So I've done this a few times and then I use this hairspray. And this is just heat protectant. It was the number one one on Amazon when I Googled heat protectant, so. That's the stuff I use. I'll show you guys how I do it. Nobody asks me for hair tutorials, but I have learned how to curl my hair by myself. It is hard for me. I still mess it up like every time and have to like fix it. What the heck? Why is this thing not turning on? Hello? No way, this thing just broke. What in the world? Okay, y'all, well, something's wrong with that outlet because I just tried to plug this into another outlet and it worked fine. So I don't know what's up with that, but I guess we're going back to my vanity. Sorry about the confusion. Let's try this again. This curling wand is linked on my Amazon. I saw a girl on TikTok use it once and I just bought the one she used because I've never had my own and I didn't know what to get. So just let it get hot. It's really easy to use and it comes with like interchangeable heads things. I don't know what these are called. I don't know if this is how you do it, but this is how I do it. Wrap it around. And that's how I curl. It's really annoying. I hate curling my hair. And it never stays. Like, that's the most annoying part. If it stayed for like two or three days and looked good, I'd get it. But it stays for not even a full day. I just drop it, hold it for a second. That looks whack. So, you guys, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, I still haven't mastered the art of hair curling. That looks terrible. Don't follow this tutorial. <laughs> oh, that one's a little better. I need Emma to teach me how to do my hair. Maybe when she comes over again, I'll be like, yo, can you give me a hair tutorial? See, that looks terrible. We're just gonna curl a few more because I feel like that's super curly and that's not curly anymore. This side is so much easier for me to do. Somebody give me tips on how to curl your hair. I was so confident about my curling abilities and now I just did it and now I'm not confident about my curling abilities anymore. Somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong because I feel like I'm doing everything right but I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you have any tips, let me know. Ow! I just burned my finger off. Holy. Okay. Yep. That's the last curl we're doing. Not doing that again. Okay. Well, basically once I curl, I just spray this a lot of it because my hair doesn't stay. I'm not gonna brush it out right now. I'm just gonna let it fall naturally and then it will get looser, I swear. Let's get dressed. I think I'm wearing this romper, but I honestly don't know if I like it or not. I've only worn it once, but then I washed it and it just looks a little different now. All right, ladies and gents, this, oh, it can't back up any further. This is the outfit. This romper is just white. Here's a better look. It's from Altered state. My orange converse, obviously. And I love it. I think it's so cute. I went with white because the flowers are very colorful. I want those to be the star of the show, not me. And then the orange is just for a little pop and it matches my Apple Watch. Here is what it looks like all together. Super, super cute. But I just want to say, y'all, I am selling so many of my sneakers on my Depop. I have been listing and selling them for a little while because I hate the way this looks. I've always hated the way it looks. I really want to get rid of these shoe racks here. So I've been doing my best to get rid of all the sneakers and all the shoes I don't wear. I have a bag that's gonna go to the Goodwill for donations, but check my Depop because I'm selling so many pairs. And I already have sold a bunch of them. So thank you to you guys that have bought my shoes. I really appreciate it. In every single package, I write like a handwritten note and I normally give extra goodies that I receive and PR in your package. I need a vlog new because I am exhausted. You know what? We're going with Juicy Peach today. I don't know why. This one's not my favorite flavor, but for some reason I'm craving it. I don't know why. It just sounds good today. Let's pack my bag. First thing that always comes is my Yeti. Here is my little tote bag that I bring with me everywhere. It's linked on my Amazon if you want to match me. And then here I always have a book, my sunglasses. This is a tank top that I was wearing the other day. I'm also gonna bring my keys. I think that's it for the bag. We are gonna leave very, very soon and drive on over to the flower fields. I'm driving, guys, and I don't know if you can see in the distance, but I'm gonna have to drive over the Skyway Bridge, Sunshine Skyway. Oh, you can't see it now, but if you live in Florida, you know. I just do not like this bridge. It's very scary, it's very steep, and I have driven over it a few times, but I hate driving over it. But it's okay, I'll do anything for my girl, Emma. I'll show you guys when we get closer. It's literally terrifying, like it is terrifying. But I'm about to go through the Sun Pass. Why are we going so slow, y'all? Thank goodness for Sun Pass. 
also a Florida thing. Okay guys, you see that bridge right up there? That really tall pokey thing in the middle of the sky? Yeah, that's what I have to drive over right now. I'm terrified. Nothing should be that pointy in the sky that you have to drive over it, but here we go. I'm gonna vlog it for you guys, because I'm nervous. So if I vlog it, maybe I'll be less nervous. I'm going up, I'm going up. It literally turns from two lanes into one skinny little freaking lane. Like this thing is, ah! And it's so tall and pointy because of big ships and like cargo boats go underneath it. There was a really bad accident. I think it was like the tragedy or the accident of like the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. And basically a huge boat hit one of the pillars that keeps up the bridge and the bridge fell and a lot of people died. It was really, really sad. Everybody that lived in Florida during that time like remembers it. It's like one of those things you just don't forget because it was so tragic. It's very sad, but they've put in a lot of safety precautions, which is good. Okay, I'm like up on it right now and I'm really nervous. I thought talking to you guys would make me feel better, but I'm like, why do I have tears in my eyes right now? Oh, I'm crying. Oh, we're going down. Look at that beautiful view though. It's so pretty. Okay, now enjoy the time lapse. Thanks for joining me on Katie's Bridge Segments. I'll see you when I get to the farm now. I think I still have another like 40 minutes. <laughs> I made it. I did in fact just drive in circles for a good five minutes, but I see goats and I'm so excited. This is way more than I expected. I literally thought it was just gonna be like an open flower field. This is like a whole farm. Look at the goats. Oh my gosh. Hey guys! So we made it to the flower fields. We just paid for the cup and then you like pick the flowers and you put them in the cup. We're driving to the fields. I hope they're still pretty flowers. That's what I was gonna say. You think they're gonna be ugly now? I don't know if it was gonna be bare because there's like, it closes three days. I know, we're, we're literally going three sorry, days. Flowers. <laughs> we're going three days before this is not open anymore. So hopefully the flowers are still pretty. It looked, looked full when I drove by. So you saw it? Yeah, it's over here. It. I drove this way, so oh, you probably came from that way. Yeah, I came the opposite way. I hope that's not it. That's just that's dirt. That's what I'm taking you to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we drove an hour to come see dirt. <gasps> oh, okay. Yay, we have flowers. I am so excited. Literally, I bought flowers from Trader Joe's and they died already. So I was like, this is perfect because really I'll get to refill my vases. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Wild flowers. Wow. How many? Do we literally build a whole cup? Yeah, like with can, as many yeah. as we want? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. So we're just walking through the fields right now, getting the flowers, but a lot of them are dead and look like that. But we've collected a few so far. This is my cup. I'm all the way too deep in there. I'm trying to find orange ones. Oh. Yeah. She has She's all pink right now. Yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing it's the like orange ones. ones. They're all dead. <laughs> they are all dead. That one? I know. Ew. <laughs> I got some orange ones in there. She's trying. I keep walking in front, so I'm stealing all the good ones. You go in front. Oh, wait, there's a good one. That's a pretty orange yeah. one. They're actually really pretty. The ones that are alive are really pretty. Then you have some ones that look like that. Not so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna peel the leaves off my flowers because they're taking up too much space in the bottom of my cup. And I want more flowers. I'm hoping that this will help. That's better. My bouquet is coming along. I lost Miss Emma. Oh, she's all the way over there. I'm in the yellow flowers and the orange ones right now because I feel like I have a lot of pink now. So I'm trying to fill it out. That's a good one. Oh, I like this one. Boop. Update on our bouquets. This is mine. Pretty full. I think Emma's is way prettier. Is oh <laughs> I think it's no. way prettier. This is mine. They're all dangling like this. They're all dead. <laughs> mine is just like a gazillion different Maybe size. the one that's eating them out of the ground and hers look better than that. I'm just like, I'm pulling out the entire root of the freaking flower yeah. literally every time. But it's okay. I think it's coming together. Yours looks so much better. Oh They're gosh. coming along. Everyone doesn't have cups. We should have done that because yeah. it looks better. People as, like, are walking okay. around just like without the cup and it looks 10 times better. Mm -hmm. Like they're cute little bouquets that you look like you would buy from Trader Joe's and ours they look like this. <laughs> Flowers. This side of the flower field is way better. We were like on that side and they're terrible. They're all dead. But over Wait, here, no comes over here. Yeah, That's they don't want to walk this far. But over yeah. here, they're so much better. Like every single time I, I see a pretty one, and I had to dig through all the dead ones over there. This is so good. See, <laughs> and then I just kind of stick it in there and hope it's fine. There's water in the bottom of the cup, but I literally don't think any of mine are touching the water. I dumped mine all out, so they don't have water. <laughs> oh, we're failing, but it's okay. <laughs> it didn't rain, but we did get heat stroke. It's so hot outside. <gasps> Holy okay, so we finished at the flower field. Here is our final bouquets. They're they so look, pretty. They look really good. I'm it happy. looks good this way. Yeah. Because they're together. Yeah, you can't see all the gaps and holes and everything, but we're about to leave and go to downtown Bradenton for lunch and a walk around, do some shopping maybe, and just kind of hang out over here because 
because it's a far drive and we're just gonna explore what's around but I love this cute little farm I had so much well, fun you know now you've been I know I can come back guys it was literally ten dollars for like all these flowers like each so twenty dollars I think it's a really good deal because you get to do it yourself take cute pictures like it's a fun little experience so let's go to Bradenton all right guys we made it to lunch we are at Mexican La Fajita we just found this in downtown Bradenton we got some chips and salsa right here we just ordered our food and I am actually so hungry so I'm very excited I know me too yum oh. okay I already started eating but here's my quesadilla so yummy so beautiful what'd you get what's it I got a taco bowl this crunchy thing is like the coolest thing ever it's really yummy I think we're just hungry you guys we're in the cutest store and I'm obsessed with literally everything like this bracelet you track a shark I think I might have to get it and these stickers they have like thread yeah, wallets so and literally everything I love it it's so cute if I wore high heels I'll wear these so far so pretty everything in here feels like you should be going to the Taylor Swift concert I'm following the Instagram so I can watch this counter go up yeah <laughs> In this. Emma just said, you have to come in my car because I got you a housewarming gift. So I went thrifting the other day and I saw something for Katie's apartment that was so cute. And I was like, I have to get this for her because it was so cheap. It's also pouring rain outside, yeah. guys. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you have a place to put it in your little apartment. Oh, I'll find a place. <gasps> oh my gosh! It's a little spectacular, it. but... It's so beachy, no. and I thought it was cute. It's so perfect. If I had my apartment, I would put it in my room. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. This is so cute. I'm literally going to find somewhere and put this. <laughs> it's going somewhere. It's so cute. Go on a little wall or something. Yes, it will. 100%. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I love it. Where'd you find it? Goodwill. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank Definitely you. can't find it anywhere else. I love so it. you're welcome. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> let's do our bracelet thing. Oh yeah. We got these bracelets. Oh my gosh, it's boring. Like they attach to an animal, and you can track the animal. So she got a turtle, I got a little shark, and it's pink. Let's download the app and then we're gonna track them because she said one we're was- We're gonna see where Yes, she literally said one was under the bridge that I drove over today. Each bracelet comes with a shark to track on your phone or computer. Let's track them. I didn't get the blue one because I wanted a different color. Oh, the pink is actually really cute. <gasps> okay, I gotta track my sharky. Anchor, his name's Anchor. No, how did you do that? <laughs> He's a little hammerhead. What'd you get? Esther? Esther. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. Anchor is such a cute name. So is Esther. Esther. Anchor and Esther. Oh my gosh. Well, thank God he's not near us. Think it's actually a sea turtle. Yes. You know? What if it's just like a microchip or something? Okay, guys, if you ever see these, follow by them. We're going to go on a boat one day and we're going to track them. them. Yeah, yeah, we're going to find Esther and Anchor. <laughs> That is the cutest name for a shark. Right? That's Anchor? So I'm so happy about that. That was the best thing ever. Y'all, this is literally the scariest drive of my life. I just drove over Sunshine Skyway, the crazy bridge, and it's literally pouring rain, and the bridge looks like this, and I couldn't see an uh, inch in front of me. It just chilled down right now, but it literally was so bad. Like, I could not see in front of me. I'm scared. The traffic is terrible. Like, I have literally been sitting. Oh, we're moving now. But now the rain's getting 10 times worse, so. I'll see you when I'm home. I'm stressed. Y'all, I just got absolutely poured on, but I made it in and I am so excited about my freaking shark bracelet. It's so cute. And I also got one more thing from that store. I got this cute little sticker. It's just pink cowboy boots. You guys know how I feel about pink and I love cowboy boots. I want to put it somewhere on my Yeti, but I really don't have a whole lot of space left on this girl. I don't know. I have to figure it out, but I'm going to put these in my vase and hopefully refresh the other flowers that I had. They already look like they're dying, but it's okay. Let me grab them. So these are the dead flowers that I had before and we're going to replace them with the new dead flowers. So they are wildflowers, so I doubt they're gonna last long to begin with, but it's okay. It's more just for pretties, cause they are so pretty. So I'm just gonna arrange the ones that still look good and hopefully they'll look good for at least a few days. It's okay if not though. All right, here's one bouquet of flowers and here is my other bouquet of flowers. I think they look pretty on my windowsill. I don't know how long they're gonna last because like I said, they are wildflowers, but they are beautiful. Well, y'all, I got changed and I'm just gonna sit here and read my book that I'm currently reading. I actually am only like five pages into this because I just started it, but I was gonna go to the post office and drop off some of my Depop orders because I had some clothes that people ordered that I was gonna ship out, but the weather is just literally so terrible. I do not wanna be driving on that road again. That was 
literally so scary. I'm just gonna sit here and start this new book again because I honestly don't remember what the first five pages were about. I've never heard of this author before. Her name's Ruth Ware, The Turn of the Key. I went to this really cute indie bookstore. I love going to indie bookstores. Here in St. Pete, actually, it's called Wilson's and they're very affordable. Like this book was $5 and it was used, but I buy used books all the time. Here's the paper for it if you guys wanna go check out Wilson's. It's super, super cute. They have a gazillion different books in there. Yeah, we're gonna try and start this and see if it's any good. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I might make some dinner soon because it is dinner time. I had such a fun day though. I love hanging out with Emma. Whenever we hang out, it's so much fun. And I'm gonna post those Instagram pictures probably tomorrow. I get stressed when I take pictures and post them on the same day, so <laughs> we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna read this book now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a mystery murder, murder mystery or thriller. I don't know, there's no blurb in this book. There's just like author reviews, but there's no blurb. But I like how like shiny the book is. Isn't it kind of cute? Okay, let me stop talking and read. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. For dinner, I'm making a grilled chicken Caesar salad wrap. I have made a tutorial on how I make this on my TikTok. I might make some sweet potatoes on the side though because I bought a sweet potato and I love sweet potatoes. And I've never cooked one before. Like I normally buy like the sweet potatoes that you just put in the air fryer that are frozen, but I bought a whole one and I'm gonna try and cook it by myself today. So yeah, we're just gonna do a little montage for you guys of me cooking dinner. Let's make some dinner together. I'm such an idiot. I was like, why isn't this thing peeling my potato? It's the first time using it. There's literally a protective thing on it. Sometimes I am so blonde it hurts. Why is this thing as hard as a freaking rock? I just was gonna use this shredded lettuce and it Okay guys, I'm a little disappointed. I was literally so excited to eat this grilled chicken Caesar salad wrap and y'all saw, I checked the lettuce and it's so slimy and disgusting. I've never seen lettuce like that before. Like I'm not even kidding, I've never seen lettuce that I just bought. I bought that lettuce maybe five days ago. Go bad that fast, it's crazy. So I had to improvise. Now I already cooked the chicken. I already had the tortilla on the thing. So I'm having another quesadilla. Two quesadillas in one day. It is what it is, not what I wanted, but we have to work with it. Here are my sweet potatoes. They look really good. I'm actually very excited to try them. I love sweet potatoes. Mmm. Okay. The flavor's definitely there. I took them out because some were starting to get really, really crispy and toasty and others like this were like completely not. So I took them out. I think it definitely could have been in there for a little longer, but they taste really good. They're also very crunchy for some reason. I don't know if maybe that sweet potato wasn't ripe yet. Maybe it wasn't a sweet potato. Maybe it was like a yam or something. It was a weird dinner. A quesadilla and sweet potatoes. Whatever. At least it's a protein and some veggies. So cheers to another quesadilla. Two quesadillas one day. I make a bomb quesadilla. I'm so sad. I have literally no lettuce. I never have no lettuce. That's crazy that I ran out. It is what it is. Alrighty y'all, that is the end of today's video. It was a really fun day. I mean, I've been vlogging for like 12 hours now and I had so much fun today. Yeah, it's just cozy and nice to be in Florida and hang out with people that are fun to hang out with, you know? So that was the first summer vlog, crazy, right? Like we're in summer now. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow all my other socials or just at Katie underscore McKenzie. You will definitely find me somewhere else on the internet. I'm always posting TikToks and stories and Instagram and literally everything, but I love you. Don't forget to always smile, be kind, and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys! Mwah.